Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Miskill. Today I am bringing you the Battleground slash RBG guide and it is done. It is here. I go through everything you need to know from talents, healing rotation, your role. And if you have any questions at all, if I'm missing anything, please let me know. I think this is my first RBG guide. So please, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, put it in the comments. I'll respond. And with that said, let's jump right into it. Starting with races, I would say the best race overall is Night Elf. They have Shadow Meld, which is great because it drops combat instantly, and you can just mount up and go, especially if you need to peel out to a base or get out of team fight for some reason. I think Night Elf is just the best. Also, if even if you're in team fight and you Shadow Meld, it stops cast on you. So if people are targeting you, it drops your name frame, which gives you some, you know, breathing room to heal and stay alive. So I think uh, by far Night Elf is the best race for both Alliance and Horde. It's just the best. If you don't want to go Night Elf, I think Human is pretty solid. You could drop Medallion Trinket and you can go with the Haste proc and the On Use. Again, because of the new Trinket bonus in Dragonflight where you get the CC reduction, it's just any race is really viable. It just depends on what you want to play. But I would go Night Elf or Human for Alliance for Horde. I, I honestly don't think there's many options. There, there really aren't many options. You could stay Orc. If you wanted to, the 20% could be nice, especially in RBGs, where, you know, there are a lot of stuns. So it's guaranteed every team's going to have a lot of stuns. So or it could be good for your survivability. Undead could be good if, you know, Warrior fears or uh, Warlock fears. But I would say overall, I think the best race is going to be Night Elf or Human. And then for Alliance and then for Horde, it's probably Orc or Undead. Next, I'll talk about the Monk Talents, which is the left-hand side here. Uh, I could briefly talk about each point if that's what you like. Again, critique me. I would love to know. This is one of my first RBG guides. So uh, I start off, I think every monk spec gets Soothing Mist and then Rising Sun Kick and Tiger's Lust. Nothing really crazy about this row. Tiger's Lust really good for getting out of roots. Really, really nice. Even though it's not the perfect freedom, just being able to get out of slows or roots is just, just extremely helpful. Uh, improved roll gives you an extra charge of roll and cheat torpedo. Common uh, presence. It reduces all damage you take by 3%. Obviously really important because you don't want to die. This row, nothing too crazy. This is your Dispel. This is your Paralysis. And this is like your Improved Paralysis that makes it 30 second cooldown. This makes your Vivify heal by 40% more. And this makes Vivify instant every 10 seconds. So perfect for if you're, you know, there's interrupts available or if their teams are targeting you, you can just get an instant Vivify. Really good for also when you leave crowd control. If you leave crowd control, go for an instant Vivify. It's beautiful. It just got buffed by 20%. Vivify uh, direct heal, so it's, it's even stronger now. This one, so I really like Vivify, or uh, I really like Expel Harm. So Vigorous Expulsion, the extra crit is great. And then the Tiger Tail Sweep, which reduces the cooldown of uh, Leg Sweep by 10 seconds and increases the range. Really good for when you know team fights are happening in closed area. Silver Shred Mines, I the Storm mid-fight, and you can just Leg Sweep extra people because the range is bigger. I kind of like that. Uh, talked about this row for this row it's elusive mist is something i've been kind of getting used to using but it reduces all damage taken while channeling soothing mist by six percent pretty good i mean it reduces damage you take if there's no interrupts available you know maybe it's on a smaller map where it's more like a 2v2 or 3v3 maybe do an off off carts on silver shred mines and it's like a 2v2 good for when you know, there's no kicks available take less damage is good transcendence obviously i think this is a really important spell to have this is your kick this is Fort Brew, and then this talent makes it, so it's a four, four minute cooldown. Four minute cooldown instead of six. I like Cheat Torpedo, so I go Cheat Torpedo, Ring of Peace, because Ring of Peace is just the best Mistweaver spell, or the best Monk spell. Um, and then here is Profound Rebuttal, uh, Diffuse Magic, and this row, I think, this is a flex talent right here. This is your one, in my opinion, this is your one flex talent. You could go Touch of Death, Dampen Harm, or Strength of Spirit. Um, I really like Expel Harm. I wish I could take Strength of Spirit, but I don't think it's possible. So I think you're either going to go with Dampen Harm or Touch Death. So Touch Death, this talent makes it so when someone drops below 15% health, you could use it on them. That, that's what kills the player. Uh, Dampen Harm is obviously an extra defensive you have that reduces all damage you take by 20 to 50%. Uh, and larger attacks are reduced by more. So again, do you want to go for a kill? Or do you want a lot? Or do you want to survive? It's really up to you. Uh, I'm a little bit of an aggressive healer, so I kind of like to go with the improved touch death. But it's probably safer to go with dampen harm. By the way, all these uh, talents will be in the description um, below. 
next row we have this is a really this is probably the best talent on the left hand side is this is close to heart what this does is you and your allies within 10 yards have eight percent increased healing taken from all sources so any map where you're going to be stacked or you know close to teammates which is pretty much every single rbg this is going to get value so this is the i the most important talent i think on the left hand side take it it's really really good your healing is crazy it also helps other people's healing so just use it it's really good uh escape from reality this makes it so you could port twice you can make plays with this it's actually a lot of fun um especially if let's just say i don't know especially with Warstone Gulch when you can jump down port up maybe you reset your port jump down again you can port back up really really cool escape from reality i like a lot save them all when you're healing spells heal an ally whose health is below 35 percent max health you gain an additional 20 20 percent healing for the next four seconds so uh you know in rbgs there's a lot of rot there's a lot of damage a lot of single target damage going on people are going to drop below 35 percent health often and you're going to get this which is just perfect and then finally you have your statue so these are the monk talents I play. There really isn't much wiggle room here. I, there is that one flex talent where you could, you know, play David Harm, Touch Death, or Strike the Spirit. Now, for the Mistweaver side, there is some flexibility with what you could use, depending on what stats you want to be using. So this is, you do have options, which is great. And I'll talk about the stat priority after the section. I just want to talk about the talents first. So you're going to start with Envelop Mist, is Essence Font, Life Cocoon. That's, a, that's just a given. It's... You know your life cocoon and then you're going to get your renewing mist you're going to get your invigorating mist which makes it so your vivify has that cleave heal absolutely crucial for rbgs and then you're going to go mash your mist for two charges of renewing mist very very important you're going to get your thunder focus t and revival so you, though that's your standard you're going to get it uh for these what one two three four rows next you're going to go with uplifted spirits this makes it so your vivify and rising sun kick reduces the cooldown of revival but it also makes revivals heal target revival heal targets for 15% of the hot. So this buffs your revival. Very important. You're in RBGs, revival is your main uh defensive cooldown. You're gonna want this uh this talent. And then in this row, I, there really isn't much use. And you go with healing elixir. Obviously, healing elixir really good uh defensive for yourself. You I completely dropped the life cocoon talents here. I don't think life cocoon is that insane so and no one really asks for it <laughs> i mean it's really good to use obviously like it's really solid but um it's not as powerful as like other classes cooldown so i just figure i'll drop those talents and go with my favorite talent in the mist weaver side rapid diffusion so this makes it so rising sun kick and envelop mist apply renewing mist for six seconds to an ally within 40 yards it's amazing so what you do I, I think you could i could just rising sun kick here and someone should get renewing mist over here yep there it is boom that's your rising sun kick you'd also go for an enveloping mist and then someone should get a renewing mist boom right there i love this is by the way this is the bread and butter of this build so what you're doing is you're just trying to heal as much as you can and that this talent is what allows you to do that then i go yulon this is your this is your yulon it makes it so you're you know you have a lot of healing and then it reduces the cost of enveloping mist by 33 percent very important and then overflowing mist is another i'd say this whole row these three talents right here are just so important overflowing mist your velvet mist heals targets for two percent of their maximum health each time they take damage so really really important uh for this row mist trap increases the velvet mist duration by one second and healing bonus by ten percent crucial and then you're gonna go in velvet breath this is what puts the hot on people so or the extra hot so you go for the Yulon, that's this hot right here. So it also increases the healing received by me by 10%, and then Vulpin Mist increases healing received by me by 40%. So this is total 50% bonus healing for from my healing. It's it's incredible. So you definitely want to go this. Here's another uh, Renewing Mist talent, Dancing Mist. So this makes it so Renewing Mist has a 10% chance to immediately spread to initial target when initially cast or when traveling to a new target. This build, again, and especially in RBGs, what you're trying to do is just keep your team alive and do AoE healing. That's what, you, that's, that's what you're doing, and this helps with that. Uh, this is Manatee. Not, uh, you want to go Manatee and not the, the other talent. So Manatee here, this is good because you are going to be using Essence Font often. Not often, but um, multiple times, and you don't want to run out of mana. I like Bone Dust Brew. So up until this point, th th up until this point, this is the Cookie Cutter build. This is what you're going to use from this row up. From the these last three rows are kind of up to you. I have two builds. I have a mastery build and I have a haste build, and I'll kind of kind of walk you through both. So this is for the mastery build. This is what I would recommend. Go for Cloud of Focus. Go for Gift of Celestial. So this makes it so Yulon has a one minute cooldown, but 
I, yeah, one minute cooldown with a shorter duration. It's amazing. I love it. And then you're going to go Focus Thunder, Bonus Fruit. I really like Bonus Fruit. If you don't want, I've been experimenting with this. This is a flex talent right here. If you don't like Bonus Fruit, I kind of like Secret Infusion. So pick one. You get the, you get the one, you get the what? Te, uh, 8% extra stats from the next spell you use with Thunder Focus T. That's cool. Um, I like Bonus Brew though, so I stick with it. And then I have Resplendent Mist, which is Gust of Mist has a 30% chance to do 100% more healing. This is just incredible. Your mastery is insane. Uh, Misty Peaks, again, another Renewing Mist talent where the Hot has a 10% chance to proc and Velvet Mist for two seconds. I don't know if I can get it to proc right now, but yeah. Uh, what it does is when this is healing, you'll see an Envelope Mist happen. Nah, it's not going to happen. Just too bad. And it can proc off of these Renewing Mist. So here's here's the crazy part about this. You use your Envelope Mist to use to put um, Renewing Mist up, and then that Renewing Mist can proc and Envelope Mist. It's so good. It's so good. I love it so much. You do so much healing. And then in this last row, I go with Mending Proliferation, which I know seems kind of weird, but each time Envelope Mist heals, its healing bonus has a 50% chance to spread to an injured ally within 30 yards. So what that means is Envelope Mist has a healing bonus of 40%. There's a chance another ally right here. This ally, uh, where'd it go? This ally has it right here. So it increases the healing they get. So I'll get into the healing rotation, obviously. But what that means is when I use Envelope Mist and there's spread healing going out, I can have that bonus healing on other people that have Renewing Mist. And then I can proc a Renewing Mist and Velvet Mist on people that have that healing bonus. If that makes sense. It's crazy. I, I, I'll, Again, I'll talk about the rotation, but I love it. And then finally, you have Tier of Mourning. So when you cast Invo Vivify or Invoke Mist on a target with Renewing Mist, it has a 10% 10 10 chance to spread that Renewing Mist to another target. So again, all about those Renewing Mists. And then your Vivify healing through the Renewing Mist is increased by 20%, and your Enveloping Mist also heals allies with Renewing Mist on them for 20% of its healing. Which means, if I... which th Just think about how much healing that is. Just just think about it. as If you have Renewing Mist on everybody, let's just say you have Renewing Mist on a full RBG team, you... And then you're you're using your vivifies. You're gonna be doing more healing to the, all, all everybody that has renewing mist on them. And if you use envelop mist, you also heal them. It's crazy how much healing you do. There is a second build I was kind of messing with, and I was watching Dingle, who's another insane mist weaver, uh, on a whole nother level. I mean, he's crazy good, and he's running more of a haste build. And I was messing around with it. I kind of I still like the mending proliferation. But this build is based around haste because you have so many hots. You're using Essence Font. You're using Renewing Mist. You're using your Enveloping Mist. Why not run haste to make those even better? And I, I do like it a lot. Honestly, I, I, it is, I am a fan of it. I, I like Mastery more than haste. But this is another build. So this is the same up here. Nothing changes from this row up. Actually, this row up. It's these last two rows that you kind of want. You can mess around with. You can either go big mastery, which is here. Drop this. Go here, and then there's one more talent. Oh, you go here, or you can go haste, which gives you the secret infusion. Right. This gives you the extra stats. You can get extra mastery if you use vivify. You could use. You get more haste if you use your mist, and then when you use your Yulon, you get 33% haste when it's active. So let me show you that real quick. So you use Yulon, you're going to get this buff. Haste increased by 33%. My haste right now is 40%, and I'm not even, my gear isn't even scaled up right now in PvP. It's not even scaled up. It's crazy. So the, the healing you could do, especially with all the haste and all the hots, is, is incredible. It's incredible. So it, it's really two routes you can go down. I prefer mastery, mastery healing. That's just kind of what I, I, you know me, I love stacking mastery. So I usually run that, but you can run haste, and they both do a ton of healing. Tested both, they do a ton of healing. It just depends on your playstyle. As far as PvP talents go, I don't ever really change them. I always run Zen Focus T because in RPGs, especially after Dragonflight, everybody has a kick. So run Zen Focus T every single time. Peace Weaver, you will run this every single RPG every time so what this does is this makes it so revival's cooldown is reduced by 50 percent and provides immunity to magical damage and harmful effects for two seconds this ability right here determines if you're a mistweaver that is good or great in my opinion because a well-timed peace weaver when somebody you know warlocks especially in the last expansion where uh, warlocks were using the soul rot dark souls a perfectly timed Peace Weaver or Revival with Peace Weaver talent was just incredible. It locked down so much damage. Knowing when to use this is great. Um, 
So use use this every single time. And then this third one, you could flex this one. This this one is normally crystalless. However, on Eye of the Storm, I will go with Thunderous Focus T to give uh, uh, Crackling Jade Lightning the knock, to knock people off the map. Um, but for the most part, you're probably gonna play just Chrysalis. I don't, can't think of any other talents where it'd kind of be useful. Even, nah, not Disarm even. Yeah, just go Chrysalis. It's either Chrysalis or um, Thunder, Thunderous Focus T on maps where you can knock people. Now with both of those talents kind of explained, there are two different stat priorities obviously that you wanna do. You can go Verse Mastery, Haste Crit, which is the build here uh, with the user's Resplendent Miss, which uses, you know, Bonus Brew, which uses Focus Thunder, so you get more value out of, you know, using less mana, getting your Vivifies for free. You could use that, or you could go Haste and use the RBG Haste build, which relies on Secret Infusion, Invoker's Delight. Oh, I didn't know you could preview. Oh, cool. Oh, you can't. Which relies on Secret Infusion, Invoker's Delight. Um, still both, again, both really good, but depends on your play style and how you want to heal let me quickly talk about our main healing spells just so no one kind of you know no one's lost while i'm going through the healing rotation bone to sprue is a one minute cooldown that you place on the ground and people there's a chance people get more you heal for more mastery let me see if i got a proc here no okay there it is so we got a little we got a little proc here it actually does a decent amount of healing very solid it's a one minute cooldown i kind of like it especially when i'm healing tanks it's good um, not, nothing else to say. I think it's a really solid cooldown. Really good for healing yourself as well if you're getting targeted. Essence Font, this is an ability that you need to, you gotta figure out a way to use this as often as you can without running out of mana, which is kind of like, the. it's it's kind of hard for Mistweaver. You don't want to use this off cooldown, but you kind of want to use it often because of how much healing it does. So it puts a hot on people. You channel it, puts a hot on people. And in the second paragraph there, Gust and Mist will heal affected targets twice. Now, let me talk about our mastery here. Our mastery is whenever you use Renewing Mist, Enveloping Mist, Expel Harm, Revival, or Vivify, you you it's a second heal. And then Gust of Mist has a 30% chance to do 100% more healing because of this talent right uh, here. So, when I use Renewing Mist or Vivify, there's going to be a second heal. That is my mastery. You should see it. Gust of Mist, boom. If you're using the mastery build, normally, the, by the way, the healing rotation doesn't change or any healing spells don't change depending on what stats you're using. Gust of Mist will normally be my top heal if you're using high mastery spells. Now, Essence Font, the why it's important is because when you have that hot on people, people take double mastery. So they're going to get healed a third time. They're going to get healed for, you know, Vivify, Gust of Mist, and then Gust of Mist again. So you could see, where's my mastery? Right here. Now it's higher than all my other spells, almost higher than all my other spells because... It, it, it's getting procced more. So keep that in mind. Essence Font, again, really important. You definitely want to pair it with Manatee. So what I would normally do, and again, I'll talk about this in the healing rotation. What I'll normally do is I'll go throw some healing spells out. I'll go for it. Manatee, Essence Font, Yulon, and then I'll go for like Enveloping Mist because you're getting double mastery and you're doing a ton of healing. You can go for some Vivifies here, Enveloping Mist. If I see some procs going out, I'll throw Renewing Mist on them. God, look at that healing. I love it so much. I love it. Healing Elixir, really good. Just defensive for healing yourself. Life Cocoon is one of our major cooldowns. Use this on people who are dying. I'm trying to think of good examples. Rep Pallies are really squishy. And they normally kind of want to hold their bubble for when they need it. So usually in team fights, Rep Pallies are the main kill target. Save this for your, your Rep Pallies. You know, save it for your Rep Pally friends. They need it. You know, I think they're down bad after this expansion because they were so good last expansion. So, uh... Give you a rep pally a life cocoon renewing mist again uh your bread and butter heal this is your main hot that you want to use off cooldown you have two charges of it thanks to this talent right here so you're just gonna keep your renewing mist up and this is also what all these talents affect this this and this so keep your renewing mist up revival this is why you get invited to rbgs by the way <laughs> this this spell right here is why you get invited especially uh with uh with um peace weaver use this when it's mostly warlocks i haven't seen many affliction warlocks but i'm sure it's still gonna be good in rbgs use it when they're using their main cooldowns when you see uas out just and you see them pumping make sure you use revival i can't think of any other scenarios if it's a melee if it's mostly melee and it's against like frost death knights really good for their chill streaks and and stuff like that their uh slappy hands but Mostly want to save it for that warlock damage. Is that really it? That's, that's all my healing spells. Why enveloping mist? There it is enveloping mist right here. Uh, this is again another spell that you really can't really use often because you will run out of mana. 
but you want to use it as often as you can because it does apply the renewing mist for free and it gives you a really strong hot and it increases uh what how much healing your target gets by 40 percent from your spell so if someone's taking damage you envelop a mist uh they get healed they get hot and then they take 40 percent more healing from you which is just amazing and i think that's kind of it for healing spells you can use expel harm this is i like this heal a lot all right I, i'm a fan of this healing spell it's my favorite spell what it does is it's instant if you use expel harm without channeling soothing mist it just heals you which is kind of why it's good with uh bonus brew because bonus brew gives a chance to proc the mastery off of it so you can bonus brew expel harm yourself and then renewing mist yourself which i think is really good or if you and someone else is taking damage you could use soothing mist expel harm and it heals your target and yourself so kind of a two for one there if you have time to channel and someone else is taking damage i would i would kind of send on them and I think that's it for healing spells. So obviously Soothing Mist is, you know, that's how all your heals are, ca are casted. And then, oh, Vivify right here. Very, this is another, really, all these spells are important. What this does is this will have, this has two different parts to it. First of all, it heals your main target, right? It will heal your main target. And then the second part is it will heal anybody that has Renewing Mist on them. So let's just say I have no Renewing Mist out. I'm just going to Vivify this guy. Boom. It's giving me my, my Vivify heal and my Gust of Mist heal, or you know my Mastery heal. It's it's okay. It's it, just that it's okay. Now here's where it gets really insane. Use your Renewing Mist. Use your Renewing Mist, and the, you're just healing a third target. Boom. My Vivify is going to heal all three of them because it's healing the main target and it's healing everybody that has Renewing Mist on them. Now if you put Renewing Mist on your main target, it's going to heal them for Vivify, heal them because they have Renewing Mist on them, and then heal everybody else that has Renewing Mist on them. So. You could kind of see how having all these renewing mist talents can kind of snowball through doing a lot of healing because as long as you have renewing mist out and you can have time to cast your vivify will be able to heal which is just incredible it heals everybody which is great so i think that's it for all the main talents i think i'd kind of like talking about the healing rotation you're gonna start off always with putting renewing mist on people this is your, your this is your primary hot this this is what you want always active and the you know you're just going to use your vivify to heal them that's that's pretty much the basic of it you know use your renewing mist use your uh, renewing mist off cooldown you know get the healing going if someone's taking damage use your vivify boom perfect a little basic right there what you kind of want to weave in is occasionally when you see aoe damage going out you're going to want to throw out a mana t because it costs a lot of mana and then throw out an essence font so people take double mastery use your renewing mist because those, that's also going to proc your double mastery and then you're going to use your vivify and that's also going to proc double mastery and heal anybody that has renewing mist on them so that's kind of how that's how you're kind of going to get a lot of healing going out now it's it's a little bit of a dance you don't want to use essence font too often but you you do need to press it you you do i would say you do need to press it it's pretty good what you could do is you could just channel it and then cancel it to get the hot out and then you could just start healing people put your new mist on them so that's kind of like your cleave healing and stuff like that you start to use your enveloping mist for single target healing so let's just say you have your, all your new mist out you have no charges left you use your essence font you know with humanity and now people are still dying because that's not it really isn't that much healing what you could do is you could use your um you're vivify because you're playing cloud focus and then go for an envelopment mist and that's going to heal everybody and put uh, put your envelopment mist on somebody which makes them take more healing from you and there i i can't think of a single situation where my healing couldn't keep somebody alive because again you have so many modifiers on your spells apart from all of the renewing mist talents you have cloud of focus which makes it so you know you have your enveloping mist every time you envelop mist or vivify while channeling soothing mist it increases the healing done by them by 15 percent and reduces their mana cost and that stacks up to up to three times so that's 15 30 45 percent more healing at three stacks and 45 percent less mana which is incredible and then you also have the tier of mourning which i explained so again it's just a lot of modifiers coming together on your vivify and enveloping mist that helps you do so much healing but again, most important is you have your Renewing Mist out. And if you don't have Renewing Mist out, that's okay. Because using this talent right here, the Rapid Diffusion, just go for an Enveloping Mist. Yeah. Put your Renewing Mist on your main target and you can just spam healing. And you're healing everybody with them. And one tip that I talked about earlier is what I... Playing with this talent right here, the Many Proliferation. I look for people, and usually I have Raid Frames here. I look for people that have this... Ta the, the buff. So there's the buff right there. I'll put a Renewing Mist on them so that they get value out of the buff. Maybe I'll do a quick heal on them. If I have an instant vivify, which is this right here, I will throw it on them. 
and then continue healing anyone who keeps dying. Um, bonus brew. Bonus brew, you could kind of weave in however you want. How long does it last? It lasts 10 seconds, right? It lasts, uh, how long does this last for? Yeah, it lasts 10 seconds. So you got, you got a little bit of time to throw some globals out. Usually bonus brew is good for a very big heal. So I'll throw a bonus brew out, throw an instant vivify, and then maybe go for a thunder focus to vivify and vilpa mist. And normally, you know, that pff, ain't no one dying to that. It's crazy. Like no one's going to die. You have so much healing. But yeah, that is, that is, I mean, essentially the healing rotation again, essence font. Oh, I don't want to forget thunder focus T. So thunder focus T empowers your next spell where it depends on what spell you're using. So for enveloping mist, you're, it, it will immediately heal for a certain amount. Renewing mist, it increases duration by 10 seconds. Vivify costs no mana. Rising sun kick reduced cooldown by nine seconds. And then essence font channels 100% uh, faster. I really only use this for vivify or enveloping mist. So where enveloping mist heals, uh, instantly or vivify costs no mana um there are in a big team fight scenario where um you know eye the storm silver shard mine deeper and gorge in middle you know was, you know uh team fights like that i'll try to be as mana efficient as possible because usually those maps the the team fight goes for a long time if you're playing you know off cards in silver shard mines it's 2v2 3v3 if they ever bring back seething shore where you you know it's a 3v3 war sun gulch if you know you're just kind of just away from the pack and it's 2v2 even though you shouldn't be uh, or if you're running towards the enemy flag carrier and you know you're getting stopped or whatever you feel free to use thunder focus t for enveloping mist just because even if you kind of run out of mana you will have time to drink water so that's fine but for the most part i'm using it for vivify so i can be mana efficient i'll recap the healing rotation again because i know it seemed it might be feel a little bit overwhelming but you're really you're not doing too much in fact i think the healing rotation is the easiest part of our mist weaver so you're always keep your renewing mist always making sure one charge is is recharging at all times uh, from here if you need to do some spread healing normally i throw a bone dust brew it does have a little bit of travel time and then i'll throw like a thunder focus to vivify because it costs no mana and then envelop mist to get the renewing mist kind of going to other people if i see people with the many proliferation buff i'll throw a renewing mist or instant vivify on them just because they're getting that bonus healing from me i might as well uh don't forget to put your statue down if you need to do single target healing uh, oh, also don't forget a manatee essence font at the start. Throw your renewing mist out, and then you could just do your enveloping mist or vivify healing. Always do that. Really, really good. Try to find a balance between your essence font and your mana because you don't want to run out of mana in a team fight. That's for spread healing. For single target damage, you have even better single target damage. Again, always put renewing mist up. And then you could use your Vivify to get the um, healing, healing increase and mana reduction, and then use your enveloping mist to kind of get the hots going. And it, that's that's mostly healing. That's the healing right there. I got some questions on how I do so much healing. That's pretty much it. One thing I want to talk about before this video ends is your role as a healer and as a Mistweaver in RBGs. As a healer, you kind of need to predict the future. You need to be peeling out of a team fight before the team fight's even over because you don't know if the Rezzer, let's just say you killed the Rogue, you don't know where that rogue is. You don't know if they're going to try to hit, you know, rogue boomy. They might hit a node, especially on big maps like a Wrathy Basin or Deep One Gorge. And let's just say, you know, it's a 5v2 in mid. You're peeling out. You're peeling out. You're getting a drink. Don't don't sit in team fights when you clearly won. You, you want to be going for your drinks when you're ahead or even if, you know, in the middle of a team fight. And you want to be peeling to between two bases at all times if you're ahead. A Wrathy Basin, good example. Let's just say you wipe them. You're starting to wipe down Blacksmith. You don't know where the rogue boomy is so you kind of want to float between uh farm and lumber mill if you have it as a mist weaver you will be the one that needs to peel out so always be ready to use your two chi torpedoes don't overuse them in team fights if you are the one that's going to peel out maybe evoker healers gonna be the ones that are going to peel out now they have a you know they have a freedom so they can get out of team fights a bit easier but as a mist weaver you always want to be ready you you know you're healing you're healing you know you got your oh you got sick healing right now you know boom Throwing out your, your your healing spells, you got your maybe you're gonna use your revival. Wow, so good. Yo, hey, mystical, you peel out to lighthouse. You're you're out. You don't don't question it. If that's your leader telling you, gotta trust your teammates. You're you're out of the team fight. Boom, and you're gonna go to light. You're gonna go to lighthouse. That is pretty much it for the battleground slash RBG guide. If you have any questions at all or critiques, please let me know. This is the first time I've ever done a guide like this. The healing rotation is a little bit different than arena. You know, the talents are a little bit different than arena. There's multiple builds, you know, but I love RBGs. I love Battlegrounds. So uh, I know people have been asking for a while and I'm happy to finally deliver that. So if you have any questions at all, please let me know. I'm more than happy. If you have any critiques, any information that's missing, I will comment 
and answer your question and then i'll put it in the next rbg video because i you know I, i'm planning on pushing rbgs pretty hard uh this season i did la uh, last expansion i would love to do it this expansion so again any questions any critiques please let me know and that is it for me hope everyone has a fantastic rest of your day hope you enjoyed the video i'll see you there